Hi, Naturally Curly World. I'm Gerilyn. And I'm Christina. And today we are going to try to help you figure out why your hair smells so bad. Yeah, why does it smell? What makes it smell? How do we get rid of that? Do hair fragrances work? We're gonna talk about that stuff today. So, Gerilyn, why does your hair smell? It doesn't, but um, whenever it does smell, it's probably because of my diet. I'm not drinking enough water. It's really about my lifestyle. Like, I know for a fact that when I'm on stage and I'm rocking around and I'm whipping my hair back and forth that I'm actually producing a lot of sweat. And also all of the natural sebum that's on my scalp is just kind of like super pumping and just coming out through my hair strands. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a scent there. I wouldn't say odor. I'm gonna say scent because I love myself. Like it depends on things that you eat, the things that you imbibe. You know, all that stuff is actually gonna come out of your pores. And I think that uh, contributes to the odors that are being produced by the hair. Yeah, I do yoga in a hot, like 90 plus degree studio and they're pumping in the humidity. It's very steamy. I can't do a class like that without my scalp and then all of my hair getting really wet with like sweat and just body heat. It's It adds up and you just get a little bit smelly. Another thing um, is probably like your environment. So we live here in Austin, big city. There's smog, there's cars driving around, there's all kinds of exhaust. There's also a lot of trees here. So there's a lot of pollen and gross things floating around in the air, allergens. All that stuff is like landing on our hair strands and on our scalp. So sometimes that's a huge contributor because if you're not washing that off, it'll start building up and it's going to smell some type of way. Now, drying is another huge element when it comes to hair smelling because when you have really densely packed hair on your scalp, it doesn't really matter what your curl pattern is, but when your hair is dense, it's more difficult for your hair to dry. Also, if you have hair that takes hours, like some hair takes eight hours to dry. So that means that you have this moist, wet, warm uh, environment living on your scalp for eight hours if you go to sleep with your hair wet or if you, um, try to let your hair dry through the day and you can start to have mildew or fungus grow on your scalp when you don't dry your hair all the way. If you really want your hair to dry more quickly, then you may need to use a blow dryer with some heat um, just to get it dry. Go for low heat, go for medium heat, but you definitely want to make sure that you are drying close to the root and then work down those strands. Maybe take a look at what kinds of ingredients or products you're putting on your hair. Um, some ingredients that have been known to have smells that some people don't like are like shea butter, Jamaican black castor oil has a strong smell, um, sometimes coconut oil bothers some people. Some people love it, but if you don't like the way that your hair is smelling, just take a look at the ingredients or the products that you're putting on your hair and see if maybe that's the culprit. So what do you think of hair fragrances? I don't really think that hair fragrances on their own are gonna do anything <laughs> to correct the smell of dirty hair. You will be walking down the street and everyone will know that you're coming even if they can't see you coming because you're funky, okay? So you need to wash your hair and you also, you can apply the hair fragrance, but please do it after you have clean hair. I would say if you're going to try to do this, get a curl refresher that already has a beautiful scent to it. I like one that smells like strawberries. It's just like washing your body, right? If you haven't washed your body for three days, you're going to smell bad, okay? You can't spritz away with a fragrance. Like I do love the way some of my hair products smell, so I see why fragrances for hair exist. Mm -hmm. I've put perfume on my hair before, it's probably very drying, but I see where they're going with this, but it's not gonna solve 
this problem. So if you are experiencing smelly hair and you know that something is going on, I highly recommend that you go to a dermatologist or a trichologist, someone that can really tell you specifically what you need to get rid of that smell because there might be some fungus going on, you might get a prescription for antifungal shampoo, and that's something that you will only know if you go to a medical professional. So if you have any questions for us about smelly hair, leave them down below in the comments. And in the next episode, we're gonna talk about why your hair sheds. So we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.